Hey guys, this is Jam of Jama9.ph and we got here the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. It's a small size projector. It comes with a battery. It comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which is why this projector is perfect during this pandemic if you want to experience your cinema at home. So if you want to watch movies at home, well, you could experience it better with a projector like this, the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. It also comes with a smart stand so you could have different angles for your projector. Depende yun sa kung anong gusto yung angle for the projector, uh, kung saan siya display And of course, it comes with a JBL speaker on this one which is why you can get the best audio experience on this projector. And if you want something more customizable, this one comes with a uh, interchangeable smart plate, the one that you can see here in the photo, nandun sa box, you can change the plate at the top. So, meron tayong may konting personality when it comes to this projector. So, ano ba bang inaantay natin? Let's unbox and let's take a closer look at the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. Ayan, so, it's very small. So, you can see here that we got here the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. It doesn't take a lot uh, of space and nakikita nyo naman. It's very small. Kasyang kasya siya sa isang kamay ko. Very easy uh, to use and very portable naman gamitin to. So, what are the other things that we can expect on this uh, box? Dito sa M1 Mini Plus, we also got here a remote. But in case you don't want to use the remote, there's a uh, application that is available on the App Store or on the Play Store that lets you control the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. Again, it comes with a Bluetooth connectivity so it can connect to your devices. Of course, this one comes with a charger and thankfully, this one is a USB-C charger. So, hindi ganun kayo mamomoblemo when it comes to charging the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. Kasi nga, hindi siya proprietary port. You can use probably your other charger for this one. So, this one comes with a 20 watts na charger. So, as long as your charger can have that wattage and it supports yung charging of ViewSonic M1 Plus, I believe this one can charge uh, your projector fine like what i've said earlier this one comes with a customizable plate and yes it is included in the box so we got here the yellow plate and also this gray plate para change yung cyan color na meron tayo dito sa ating projector so again if you just want something na more customizable dito sa viewsonic m1 mini plus natin na projector and it's very easy to remove. All you need to do is to remove the plate just like that and replace it with the color that you want na available dito sa ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. So we also got this one so para mas madali nyo siyang uh, madala and uh, mahawakan. So if ever, you know, baka worried kayo na baka malaglag sa inyo, meron man tayong ganito, kakabit lang natin siya dito and then voila, madali na siyang dalihin kahit saan. Actually, yung size niya mismo, you won't have any problems with this one. So, uh, let's proceed dun sa closer hands-on natin dito sa ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. Alright guys, so you already know what's inside the box of the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. Now, let's talk about this device. So, the top we got here are uh, the plate. So, as you can see here, we've changed the plate to gray. Nothing so special about it. There's no uh, something about this ViewSonic na logo over here. But yes, it's an interchangeable plate like I've said earlier. On the other side, we got here the USB-A and also the USB-C along with the speaker over here. Again, and again, it's uh, made by JBL. So you already know that this one is reliable when it comes to the audio quality of this one. On the other side, we got here the HDMI and of course, we got here the smart stand. So again, pa niya control yung kanyang angle kung saan yung mga gusto. And since we got here a flat side, of course, we got here some curves on uh, the edges of this one pero dito sides is uh, flat you can also place the projector like this so pwede kayong humiga sa kama nyo and have a projector na nakatutok doon sa taas or sa kisame nyo which is perfect if you want to watch movies then fall asleep I think it's a great idea. So, you know, tatak din na smart stand. This one is also the cover for the projector, for the lens, for the light, and everything. So, yes, it protects uh, also the projector. And of course, we got here the focus ring. And uh, again, as I said earlier, USB C and USB A. Uh, at the back, we got here the on and off switch. So, just a short brief about the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. This one comes with an 854 by 480 resolution, a 120 LED lumens, a contrast ratio of 500 by 1, 
uh, 1.07 billion colors. We also got here an LED light source. And uh, yung kanyang life is up to 30,000 hours. So medyo tatagal naman talaga siya. Actually, years siya tatagal. And don't worry because it supports up to full HD na resolution. But again, it's only at 854 by 480 So, ano pa bang inaantay natin? Paglaroan natin and uh, alamin natin kung ano ba meron dito sa ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus Projector. So, we've been using the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus for a while now and it's a really interesting uh, projector because number one, it's very small, it's pocketable, it can even fit uh, in some uh, back pockets which is really interesting. And uh, of course, uh, the design is very youthful and uh, the number one thing that I really like about this one is that it comes with this smart stand which basically acts also as the cover for the projector lens of uh, this uh, M1 Mini Plus projector. Okay, so let's talk about first uh, the uh, the lens that we're getting in here. So we got here 50 and see uh, lumens. Uh, well, in terms of um, normal layman's term tayo, uh, that one isn't the brightest one on a projector but once you turn off all the lights once you use it if you're on your home uh, this one would do just fine and um, despite having only a WVGA na resolution this one is already good for me I mean um, hindi ganun kalayo yung projector from the white wall and yet we're getting here a large enough na projection ng ating display Okay, going back, we got here an FWVGA 854 x 480 na resolution. Uh, some people might say that, yes, it is not HD. Yes, it's only FWVGA. But for me, if you ask me sa gantong size, I wouldn't complain. We're getting here a pretty decent na projector at this size. And the 854 x 480 is already enough for me to watch movies on Netflix and also some videos na available online and since this one is pocketable this one uh, always comes in my backpack whenever i'm traveling na malayo if i want to have a bigger display this one is light and um, it's perfect again for traveling because again the smart stand lets you um, use the projector anywhere anytime pag nakaupo lang kayo sa isang room you know uh, nasa hotel room kayo you can use this one as long as you got a white wall and everything, you can use this one. You don't need a stand. Unfortunately, there's no uh, screw for the tripod. But for me, okay na ako dito na meron tayong smart stand. Which is perfect for me. And since we're using it for traveling, uh, whenever I'm, both, I'm going to the province, uh, this one also comes with an automatic adjustable keystone. So the projector automatically adjusts the keystone. It's quite fast. You don't need to manually adjust the keystone, which is perfect. Kasi nga, minsan hindi mo gusto yung angle and you're traveling. So it's not fixed and uh, it always comes in my backpack. So again, um, having an automatic keystone is... Uh, a feature that I really love on this projector okay so before we get down to the software of this projector let's talk about first the remote so what can we expect from this remote well it's a very simple remote that we're getting in here there's no keyboard on this one but we do got here the directional buttons and of course the volume button the back button and also the settings button and also the home button this one is using a fourth Android um, software a UI is uh, basically the UI of this one is basically uh, optimized for the projector or for smart TVs, but this one is running Android at its heart. So, what does that mean? Well, we're we're getting here an Aptoid App Store, which basically offers different applications that is uh, optimized for this projector. It means that you don't need an external device in order to download um, Netflix, Spotify, and other applications because yes, you can. Um, install APKs on this one if you want but again we're limited by the remote that we have since we're only getting directional buttons it's higher it's kind of hard to navigate on, and also to type on on this projector but the UI it's very user-friendly I could easily access my applications and also there's the file management which lets me check out my applications or my files that is available on my flash drive all I need to do is to get my flash drive. Okay, this is a USB C and a USB A flash drive. And I could just plug it in on the projector. And I could easily 
uh, check out my files and also my media files on my flash drive and of course if there's a movie or if there's a, if there are videos or pictures i can open that on the viewsonic m1 mini plus directly without the need for a smartphone or a tablet or a laptop that is connected to hdmi since this one is portable you might be asking how about the battery of this one so according to viewsonic this one has a battery of up to 1.5 hours in my usage i can use it for an hour or two hours depending on the usage go but for me i'm already fine with it i can watch um two or a single episode of a netflix tv series or probably some movie if if it's not a long movie but if you want, you can also charge it using a power bank since we're getting here a USB-C port. But I highly suggest that you use the uh, plug-in or uh, the included power brick for this one. So there's another feature that I love on this one. It's the screen mirroring. Basically, it mirrors your uh, display on a device to this one. Basically, most of your Android devices uh, can mirror to the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. And if you have an iOS device, you can also mirror that one to the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. This is also perfect if you have a quick presentation and you don't have any cables, you don't have your dongle, you forgot your dongle, and you want to connect to the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus wirelessly. So you could display dito sa projector natin wirelessly. This one is the perfect device for you. It's pocketable, kasi sa bag nyo, and uh, you don't need to bring wires anymore because you can present using the screen mirroring of the ViewSonic M1 Mini Plus. So, who is this projector for? I mean, yes, it's a pocketable projector. A lot of you are probably staying at home, which means that this one is perfect. I mean, there's no movies, there's no theaters outside right now. And if you want to have your own theater, I mean, you could use this one, you can bring this one to your friends. It comes with Netflix, it comes with Spotify, and uh, this one is pocketable. So, you don't really need to, you know, have a fix. Uh, fixture for this one it comes with a stand and it might not have the best lumens that you can find a projector but it will do just fine as long as you turn off the lights and everything so yeah i guess that's it for our unboxing and review of the view sonic m1 mini plus so if you like this video don't forget to give us thumbs up and of course don't forget to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of the latest videos here at my youtube channel so once again i am jam of jamaline.ph thank you for watching and see you guys again on my next video.